Okay, <clears throat> usual spot, bar's nest, lighthouse, and uh, as before we have our uh, soda beams telescopic mast and we have the uh, linked dipole set for 40 meters and uh, we're playing with digital modes and uh, so far I have been lucky uh, in the fact that I have had a few here uh, a couple of JT9, one FT8 and one uh, PSK31 testing out the new rig which is this uh, the QRP var, uh, I believe it's 1.3 uh, 3 watt single band so it's only on 40 meters and uh, I must admit it works pretty well one of the great things about it is that it has Vox so when you get it in the box you get the rig and you get a power cable that's it um, I have it hooked up there crocodile clips um, attached to the uh, cheap uh, Chinese lithium brick at the back oh, you can see we've got the usual ports, BNC for the antenna, uh, one for um, a key, one for a mic, which isn't included. You have to spend an extra $25 for that. And one there that's down as um, headset digi. Um, now that is a standard um, audio 3.5, but it's a four pole, not the usual three pole. Um, so from that, you can get um, audio in, audio out, uh, ground and push to talk uh, if you require it. Um, I've got it hooked up here with this cable here as you can see uh, jerry rigged um, so the single cable does input and output and uh, sound is turned down um, and it still produces the signals there. Uh, I've just finished with um, DL slash PA4ARP slash P um, for PSK31 as you can see there. Uh, it's a really uh, quite simple rig. The manual that comes with it is just uh, printed pages. Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, Chinglish but uh, the guy's Ukrainian and uh, it takes a wee bit of uh, interpretation to figure out exactly what it is that he's on about. Um, cost about £196 um, and that's all in so that was the radio and the shipping and all the rest of it um, it's made to order so it took three weeks from my order to be built and then another two weeks for it to be shipped uh, however this is the first time I've had it out uh, 40 metres is very noisy at home um, certainly a lot less so here the ICOM 7300 that I have uh, copes perfectly well uh, with noise at home, but this is obviously a different animal altogether and therefore requires a bit of a TLC to get its best. Um, I think that's really about it. What I can say is that in the short period of time that I've been playing with this, the fact that I've managed to get them in that half hour period with a, a 3 watt rig, 40 meters, and um, local time is half past seven, uh, UTC is uh, 18.26 or thereabout. Um, I am mightily impressed by this. Uh, it doesn't seem to draw too much power at this point in time. I've not had it long enough to know exactly how long it will last for. As you can see, it's tiny. It's a pack of playing cards. Um, but so far, a bit of Germany, a bit of Slovenia, a bit of uh, European Russia, uh, I certainly can't complain about. And uh, if the battery drain is less than my other QRP rig, then um, when the weather starts to change in the darker months then uh, this would be quite a good rig for a multiple days out and about um, with a standard um, 10,000 milliamp hour uh, one of them and uh, I think we're laughing so there you go QRP Ver 1.3 uh, 40 meters uh, 3 watt rig and uh, it seems to do exactly what it's supposed to um, within that menu there you can see it says Digi uh, and USB uh, it also does LSB it also has a um, single sideband uh, for the mic and uh, it also has a CW and as I say a little port there for a paddle uh, or a straight key if that's the way that you've got it uh, so far it seems to be worth the money um, you're not going to get a, a full band uh, single sideband for uh, less than 200 quid uh, this side of the water, um, other parts of the world, your experiences may differ. All the best, 73.